everyone! So in today's video, um, I will be discussing time in Finnish. So this will be part one of a small time series. So I think just to start off with, a good point to note is that in Finland, we use the 24 hour clock. Now I know not all countries use this, so for example, the US uses AM and PM, but in Finland we don't use this sort of AM PM distinction. Instead, we use the 24 hour clock. So, in everyday speech and stuff, of course, um, when you're making plans, it's presumed that if you're making plans for, say, three o'clock, um, you mean three in the afternoon, not the middle of the night. So, people will say, oh, let's meet up at three, not necessarily let's meet up at 15, but it's more so if you know, on digital clocks or in emails, um, you know, events, it'll say, you know, starting at 16 o'clock and you'll, and that will mean it starts at 4 p.m. And then now I will go on to explain how to say some basic um, time phrases in Finnish. So to ask what is the time in Finnish, you would say, mita Kello on. Mita, what? Kello, kello means clock, on is. What clock is? Mita kello on, which means what time is it? Mita kello on. Mita kello on. What time is it? And then to respond to this, it's quite easy. All you say is kello on dot dot dot. So clock is insert time. So, kello on. Mita kello on? Kello on blank. So if you want to respond, you know, the time is something something on the hour. So let's say like one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, um, you know, that would be called tasatunti. So a tasatunti is like on the hour. Um, so exactly like 1 p.m. So if someone says mita kello on? and say it's 1 p.m., what you would say is kello on yksi, or kello on yks in puhekieli. Three o'clock, you would say kello on kolme. If you want to say it's six o'clock, you say kello on kuusi, or kello on kuus in puhekieli. Kello on time. So say it's, you know, a certain X amount of minutes after one, let's say, say it's five minutes past one and you want to say it's five minutes past one. How do you say this? So again, you start with kello on, clock is, kello on, and then you would insert how many minutes? So viisi, five minutes, viisi, yli, yli means over, so five over yksi, one. Kello on, viisi, yli, yksi. Or viis yli yks in puhekieli. Kello on viis yli yks. It's five after one. If you want to say it's eight minutes after one, you would say kello on kahdeksan yli yksi. Kahdeksan yli yksi. Eight after one. Or in puhekieli, kello on kahdeksan yli yks. Kahdeksan yli yks. So if you want to say it's 20 minutes past one, you would say Kello on kaksikymmentä yli yksi. Realistically, no one would actually say this. You would use the puhekieli version of Kello on kakskyt, 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 which means 20, yli yks. Kakskyt yli yks. 20 past one. So if you want to say, you know, past, it means I mean, in Finnish, it would be yli. Viis yli, kaheksan yli, kakskyt yli, kakskyt kaks yli. If you want to add the minutes, so you want to say 22 minutes past one, you would just say kakskyt kaks, which is puhekieli for kaksikymmentä kaksi. Kakskyt kaks minuuttia, minuuttia yli yks. Kakskyt kaks minuuttia yli yks. 22 minutes past one. Okay, and then to say 15 past one, 
So in English, we have the phrase, it's quarter past one, which means it's 15 minutes past one o'clock. So in Finnish, we also have a phrase that means quarter past, which is varti. And conjugated, you would say, kello on vartia yli yks. 15 past one, quarter past one. Vartia yli yks. Vartia, quarter, yli, over, Ux, one quarter after one. Vartia yli ux. Kello on vartia yli ux. Now, just like in English, you can also say quarter to something. So if you're saying quarter to two o'clock, so quarter 15 minutes to two, so 1.45, you can say uh, kello on vartia, like quarter, vaille, vaille means two. Vartia vaille kaks. Vartia quarter vaille two kaks. Two. Vartia vaille means quarter two. So you can say vartia vaille yx, quarter to one. Vartia vaille kaks, quarter to two. Vartia vaille kolme, quarter to three. It just works the same way as quarter two in English. So then to explain more about this vaille, you can use it for any amount of time. So you could say kakskyt vaille yx, 20 minutes to one. Kakskyt vaille yx, kakskyt vaille, 22. Um, you can say kolme minuuttia vaille yx, three minutes to one. Okay, and then we move on to half past, which I think, in my opinion, is semi-confusing in Finnish. At least if English is your predominant language. Um, in English, when we say 1.30, what we mean is 30 minutes past one. In Finnish, this is not the case. And that is why, even for me who speaks fin Finnish fluently, it can be confusing at times because I use English more in my day-to-day -day life. So I'm used to thinking of the clock more in the English sense. So when I hear 1.30, I automatically think 30 minutes past one. But in Finnish, when we use the phrase 1.30, what we mean is, but in Finnish, if we want to say 1.30, 30 minutes past one, we need to use the phrase half two. So meaning halfway to two, I guess, like half two. That's what 1.30 is. So in Finnish, this would be puoli, Cox or in Puhekeli, Puol Cox. Puol Cox means 1.30. And that, to me, even still, is very, confus very confusing if I don't take like an extra two seconds, three seconds to like kind of think about it. Like, mm, Puol Cox is half to two, which means 1.30. Okay, so be careful of this so you don't get your times mixed up if you're trying to organize something. Just keep in mind that puol kox means half to two, so 1.30. Another example would be puol kolme, which means halfway to three, which means 2.30 in English. Puol kolme is 2.30. Puol nelia is 3.30. Puol vis is 4.30. So just... Take a few seconds to think about it, maybe write them all down and kind of process um, how they would go. But don't feel too bad about it. I mean, even I sometimes get a little bit confused. Um, so yeah, just take the time to really go through the half pasts individually so you can kind of get used to the Finnish system of saying it. Um, one tip though, um, how I kind of get around this because I don't know, maybe I'm just dumb and lazy, but um, I personally never say Bualgox because I'm just dumb. I don't know. It confuses me too much. So how I get around this is that personally, I only always use like if I want to say 130, I don't say Bualgox. I say Ukskolgut. Now that's not, you know, the official way to say it or whatever, but it works just as well. So if you are trying to set a time and you're unsure 
um, and you're feeling confused about how to say, you know, half past, you can just say Uxgolgut as kind of like a cheat sheet or like a cheat way to say it. Uxgolgut, which is 1.30. That would mean 1.30 in English as well, yeah. Uxgolgut or Kaksgolgut, 2.30. Kolmekolgut, 3.30. Neljänelgut, no, neljänelgut, 4.40. Um, but yeah, that's like the cheat way of saying things like nelja kolkyt, 4.30. You can also say nelja nelkyt, nelja nelkyt viis. Um, but yeah, for example, if someone is setting a time and they're like, yeah, let's meet tavataan puol kaks, you can then just confirm by saying eli yks kolkyt, and they would say jo. So that's how you kind of confirm um, your understanding of what they're saying. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any extra questions or something was unclear, please leave them in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching. Um, a few more parts of this time series will be coming up very shortly, so look forward to those. Thank you so much for watching. Moikka!